Hello all, welcome to our trainings. So in this session, we'll discuss about what is BPM and how do we configure it and the navigation. Let's get into agenda. We'll try to understand what is BPM and how do we enable BPM for the purpose of AP invoices and what do we call approval groups and how do we configure a task and how do you view a particular transaction and some of the BPM workflow tables. So in a high level, what is a BPM? So BPM is a business process management tool in Oracle Fusion and also this is also an independent tool. We can use it, but within the Fusion, this is used for the purpose of managing business processes. What exactly business process is all about? In a easier terms to understand, in the within the business scenario, if you are, if you are looking for a leave notification or you know like a, a purchase request approval or you know like a, maybe a purchase order request, right? Or maybe a like a GL approval, general ledger, general approval, right? So in those kind of scenarios where you have to share the information from one user to another user or from user to a supervisor, right? In a, it can be a, what you call a hierarchical kind of mechanism sh information sharing, or it can be a same level of information sharing. So in easier terms to understand, this is a web-based application that lets user to access the tasks which are assigned to them. It can be information purpose or it can be an approval purpose, okay? And this particular BPM tool within the Oracle Fusion provides us, it provides us the, you know, like the ability to configure nothing but you can add up new rules or you can disable the existing one or you can add up new approval groups or you can add up new supervisor kind of uh, rules. Different business rules you can add up based on your requirement. Okay, now let's get next slide. So first thing what we want to understand is how do we enable is this particular BPM for the purpose of AP invoice. You know, like uh, for each particular application, you may have a different uh, way of enabling the approval mechanism. The first thing is, if you want to have a notification, your like approval mechanism enabled for your particular transaction, you have to navigate to a specific module and a specific task, and then you have to enable. So in our case, for the AP invoices, how do we enable? We have to navigate to setup and maintenance, and in that you select financial setup, then select manage invoice option, and then make sure that you select the business unit, and then, in the approval section, you just enable these two checkboxes, enable invoice approval and also allow force approval. Whenever you enable this one, then only your invoice will be routed for the approval purpose. Else, it will not even call any BPM for the purpose of approval. So by enabling this, it will call the uh, particular BPM approval process based on that, you, your particular invoice will get approved. And the next step is, so once you enable the approval group, there are two things you have to work on. The first thing is like uh, the task name is manage approval groups and you can just search for the task in the setup and maintenance. You'll get this particular BPM work list page. In this, you can add up the new approval group. It can be static or dynamic. So what exactly this approval group is all about? It's nothing but a set of users which you can assign to a specific approval group. And you can just create a new approval group and that particular approval group you can use in the task. So this is all, this is all about approval groups. Now come into the task configuration. This is an actual business process which we use it which which is used for the purpose of like uh, managing the approval of your invoice so if you just search for the task here manage task configuration for each and every module you have a different kind of you know like a, a task name so in our case for financial you have to search for manage task configure for financials and this will navigate to a bpm work list page and here you can see within the bpm work list page we have total four buttons the earlier one was approval groups and the next one was task configuration. In the task configuration, you just search for the fin, fin AP. So it will give you the list of list of you know process or task which are which starts with the name fin AP. And then you can just click on fin AP invoice approval, click on edit, and you can just see the see the process. And you know, like uh, now in this particular session, we don't want to modify anything. We just enabled the task and we just want to see how do you see it, and then we just run it. That's it. So in the next particular session, we'll discuss about how do you add up a new rules and all those things. So now this is how you can just check out a task. And if at all, if you want to add up anything, you just need, you have to click on this edit icon and you can add up a, you can change the business rules and etc. Okay. Now this is all, this is all about a task configuration. So once this is done, right? So now let us, once this particular task configuration is done, what you can do is you can create a new invoice. You can create a new invoice and you can initiate a, you can initiate approval and then how do you check out the status of that one? You can just go to tools and then click on transaction console. And once you come to transaction console, you can check out 
he can check out your particular invoice number in our case here if you observe the the first screenshot is about the is about it showing the details of your ap invoice etc inv002 and the status of that one is like the invoice approval initiated and you could see that invoice status is in the like uh, it is still you know like a uh, it status the process name is invoice approval and the status it's not saying like uh, it's in the initiation stage stage i can say it's initiation it's an initiated stage and you know like uh, this is how it looks like and this this below screen is a transaction console and the above is the ap invoice screen so from here we can find out what is the status of our particular invoice whether it is getting approved or rejected or a pending or it is auto approved all this thing we can just get it from the transaction manager or trans i mean to say transaction console you can call it as a transaction manager and these are the some of the high level tables from where we can get the information about your particular invoice like to, to whom it is assigned how many days it has been pending what is the status what are the comments what are the attachment what are the approval groups these are some of the tables it's not the full list but these are some of the tables. the first table is the invoice approval history so for each transaction wherever you know you have a workflow process assigned it it is generally it will have its own set of approval history table so in our case for ap invoice we have ap inv approval history table and the below tables are the metadata or metadata tables or you know like transaction tables of spec the workflows itself so wf task and you know like you have a linkage between wf task as well as AP, like approval invoice like uh, approval uh, invoice table based on the identification key so that's how you can identify like uh, what is the status of your particular ap invoice in the workflow from that you can find out okay and the final one is like uh, one of the report called workflow rules report you can just extract it and you can find out like uh, how many rules are there which are enabled which are disabled also you can just see this is a metadata report which gets the data from the workflow bpm metadata repository okay now let us navigate to the con like a uh, fusion instance so now i'll just try to navigate here so the first thing what we want to do is we'll just want to see the invoice option right so you can just click here setup and maintenance and you make sure that you select financials i don't want to say this the financials and you can just search manage invoice options and here make sure that the scope should be selected once the scope is selected as in our case the scope is already selected i'll just go here if not just make sure that you select the appropriate business unit so i'll just click here and you can just invoice approval so i just enabled enable invoice approval as well as allow force approval so this is the first thing you have to enable and the next thing what you can do is search manage approval groups so once you click here manage approval groups it will go to the bpm approval groups page yeah this is a place where you can create a new approval group or you can modify the existing one let us say if you want to create a new approval group you just click on new static approval i'll just say xx test approval group and you can just add up a new user here like this and click on okay this should be a valid user in the, your particular fusion application instance and if you want to this is how we can add up a new approval group if you want to modify a task configuration you can just simply click on task configuration here or you can go to setup and maintenance and here you can just search manage task configuration for financials and again you will be navigated to the same page where you have to i mean it is task configuration button is enabled so you can just search your fin ap click on this particular search and this is our ap invoice approval bpm process or a workflow i can say generally it takes a couple of seconds to get enabled and to load this here yeah so and just click on assignee and you could see the total process flow here okay so this is a process flow of our uh, this one and here on this note i'll just simply select go to rule I don't want to edit anything as of now. I just want to show you the rules and then we just run our uh, AP invoice approval. Okay. Yeah. So here we don't have any uh, rules, new rules defined. This is all Vanilla rules, Vanilla rules which are provided by Oracle Fusion itself. Okay. 
and if you want to add up a new role you can just first of all you have to click on edit then only it will enable then only you can create a new role right now it has uh, edit edited i mean it is an editable mode and you can just create or you can update whatever it is so you can enable disable create new things okay now i'll just leave it like this i'll navigate to table invoices table invoices click on task list create invoice so i'll mention invoice number as xx or nb 007 supplier is abc consulting seven hundred click on lines okay click on save and check out if it is having any tax amount try validate if at all if there any if there is any variance we just need to update the header involved and then again perform the revalidation let's wait a couple of seconds yeah so it's 763 so enter the appropriate amount here click on save and again do a revalidation okay it's validated now what we can do is so as of now we just validated the invoice and here you can just click on view approval and notification history as of now we have not initiated so definitely you will not have any information here now click on invoice action click on approval and now perform the initiate okay once you click on initiate what will happen is it will initiate the approval process and now what we can do is we can just i'll open another window and here in the tool section click on transaction console and here you can just search you remove the failed criteria and you can see the latest one xxora inb and the status is in the initiation process it may take a couple of process uh, what do you call seconds or a minutes and as per our configuration it's like a, we just mentioned an auto approval there is no there is no business rules we have defined so by default it will get approved only thing is it will just initiate a workflow and it will get approved right and you can see the status completed that's it and you can just see here invoice action approve on view approval and notification history and most probably it should say like initiated assigned to and automatically completed that's it automatically approved i mean to say yeah. Okay, so now in the next coming sessions, what we do is we'll try to add up new rules for the same particular AP invoice workflow and understand how we can work on that. Thank you.